Okay, in this video, we derive some basic formula of derivatives uh, using the definition of derivative. Uh, first, we review the derivative of a function. That is the limit h tends to 0, fx plus h minus fx and over h. <coughs> We're using the, the definition of derivative to find some uh, derivative of basic functions. The first function is the constant function. The constant function is always the same value. So fx plus h minus fx over h because uh, fx is constant, so no, no matter what uh, is the value of, f, uh, of x, it always c. So the long letter is 0, and the long letter non zero. Also, the h tends to 0, but h is not 0. So the, constant, the derivative of constant is 0. The second uh, function is the power function for n is the natural number. For n is natural number, we derive its uh, formula. That is x plus h of n minus x of n. Then <coughs> uh, over h. We can take uh, the common factor x of n. That's x n, then times uh, x plus h over x as n minus x n, then h. So we can take the x of n outside because the variable is h, not x. That is 1 plus x, uh, h over x of n minus 1, then over h. Uh, using the geometric series, we know that the geometric series 1 plus r plus r square plus r of n minus 1, that is r n minus 1 over r minus 1. So r n minus 1, that is r minus 1 times 1 plus r plus r square plus plus r of a minus 1. Uh, use this formula. Then we got x n lambda h tends to 0. That is h uh, as r of n minus 1. We consider this as r, the whole thing, the whole part as r. In the bracket, that r equals 1 plus h over x. So <coughs> r minus 1, that is h over x times 1 plus 1 plus h over x, that's r of 1 plus 1 plus h over x square plus 1 plus h over x of n minus 1 is the geometric series. <coughs> now we cancel the h so that and then and take 1 over x outside that is x n over x limit h tends to 0. That's 1 plus 1 plus h over x plus 1 plus h over x square plus 1 plus h over x as n minus 1. Okay, uh, 
now let's uh, let the h approaches to zero. This is a one. And each each term in the bracket tends to one. So that s x of minus x of n minus one times there's n terms. There's n terms. So that is n. That means the power the power the derivative of our power function that is n times x n minus one. The third function that is sine x, the derivative of sine x, that is lambda h tends to zero sine x plus h minus sine x over h. Here we use the uh, addition of and this trigonometric function of addition and the, of the addition that is a sine a plus b equals sine a cosine b plus sine b cosine a and cosine a plus b that is cosine a cosine b minus sine a sine b we use this formula Okay, so the long letter tends to sine x cosine h plus sine h cosine x minus sine x over x. Uh, take the common factor of sine x, that is lambda. As h tends to zero, that's sine x, that's cosine h minus one, plus sine h cosine x over h. We uh, separate this uh, in two terms. That is sine x. Uh, sine x cosine h minus 1 over h plus the limit h tends to 0 that is sine h cosine x over h because the variable is h so we can take the function of x outside h tends to 0 that is cosine h minus 1 over h plus uh, cosine x cosine x times limit h tends to 0 that is sine h over h we already know that limit x tends to 0 sine x over x that is 1 We already know this this, uh, this limit, so the this limit is tends to one. This limit is one. Um, but what is about the first limit? The first limit is zero. We can deduce from from this uh, from this. Uh, limit x tends to 0 cosine x minus 1 over x that is limit x tends to 0 that's negative 2 sine uh, x over 2 square that's over x when x tends to 0 we take the negative 2 outside that's sine um, x over 2 square so we need to x over 2 square 
there's only one x, so we need to uh, we divide x here. We have another x to cancel this x, and there's four. So this part is tends to one. This part tends to zero. So the limit is zero. So the first part, the first part tends to zero. The first part tends to zero. And the second part, the second limit tends to one. So the the result is cosine x. So the uh, derivative of sine x is cosine x. And the cos derivative of cosine x It is cosine x plus h minus cosine x. Over h, they use the addition of angles. That is cosine x, cosine h, minus sine x, sine h, and minus cosine x over h. We take the cosine x, the common factor of cosine x, that is cosine x cosine h minus 1 over h and uh, minus sine x sine h separate in two terms uh, the first term has common factor cosine x h tends to 0 that is cosine h minus 1 over h we know that this this limit is zero. And minus sine x, the limit h tends to zero. Sine h over h. This limit is one. So the result is negative cosine x. No. That's negative cosine x. Negative cosine x. That's the result for cosine x. And then what about the exponential function and the logarithm function? To find the derivative of x exponential function and the logarithm function, we need a limit that is a fact. We use this as a fact. That is e equals the limit x tends to 0, 1 plus x, that's 1 over x, the, pow the power and the uh, exponent is 1 over x. And it is also equals x tends to positive infinity, 1 plus 1 over x, that's x, or equal to x tends to negative infinity. That's 1 plus 1 over x. That's x. That's x. We use this fact to de derive two useful, two useful limit. The first limit is when x tends to 0. Log 1 plus x over x is 1. Because when x tends to 0, log 1 over x over x that is limit x tends to 0 1 over x times log 1 plus x uh, by the rules of logarithm function uh, this one can be write as a power And uh, then use the composition uh, uh, limit of composite function uh, as equals 
equals log then 1 plus x as 1 over x that is the, the limit in the bracket is e so that is 1 this the second limit use for limit is e of x minus 1 over x that is 1 because if we let t equals e of x minus 1 then x equals log 1 plus t so the limit x tends to 0 e of x minus 1 over x that is the limit t tends to 0 x tends to 0 then t tends to 0 so that is t the x is log 1 plus t that's the reciprocal of the previous one so the limit is 1 use these two limits we can find the derivative of exponential function and logarithm function first we consider e of x the derivative of e x that is h tends to 0 e of x plus h minus e of x and so over h but uh, uh, by its rules of exponent that is e x times e of h minus e of x and takes the common factor outside because the variable is h that is e h minus 1 over h that's the previous limit so that is e of x and uh, for other base uh, other base there's exponential function of other base we change to the e of x that is a x plus h minus a of x over h use the rules of exponential exponential that is a x times a of h minus a of x over h that take we take the common factor common factor outside that is a h minus one over h is this is not the previous one because the base is not because the base is not e uh, e uh, a of x that's a of x and we use the uh, changeable variable we use t equals a of h minus 1 so h equals log a 1 plus t h tends to 0 that is t that is log the base is a plus t that's that's not the uh, nature logarithm so we change the uh, the general logarithm to the uh, nature logarithm use the change of base the rules of change of base that's t that's a uh, uh, nature log nature log one plus t over natural log a I will use the change of base that's log a x that is equals log change of base to b x then it's log b a that's the change of base that's divided by log a uh, in the denominator so that is uh, multiply in the denominator as t t tends to 0 that's t tends to 0 t 
t tends to 0. That's t over nature log 1 plus t. So actually, uh, the limit is 1. So the result is a of x times nature log a. That's a general exponential function. And for log reason, first the nature log limit h tends to 0. That's the nature log x plus h minus the nature log of x over h. Use the rules of logarithm. The, min, the subtraction uh, becomes the division in the log. That is 1 plus h over x. That's h. Uh, log x we know that log a x over y that is log a x minus log a y as the rules of logarithm uh, minus uh, there's no minus here and uh, because there is a log 1 plus h over x, so so there is if uh, if it divided by h over x, the limit is 1. So we need to times x here. So that is 1 over x limit h tends to 0 log 1 plus h over x over h over x. The limit is 1. Use this factor. Yes, the limit is 1. So that is 1 over x. <coughs> so the nature, the nature log function, the derivative of nature log function is that is 1 over x. And for other For other logarithm function, h tends to zero. We use the change of base x plus h minus x plus h log a x plus h minus log a x over h. Use the use the same uh, rules. That is uh, log a one plus h over x. That is h. Uh, change the base to the uh, to the nature log. That is uh, log to the nature log. So that that is a nature log one plus h over x and divide by nature log of a, that is h. We take the log a, 1 over log a outside limit h tends to 0. That's log, nature log 1 plus h over x. We need h over x in the denominator to uh, to make the limit equals 1. So we divide, H, uh, divide x in the denominator, then we multiply x in the denominator as well to cancel the fraction. Uh, take the x, x outside, that is x natural log a, 1 over, uh, 1 over x times log a, h tends to 0, that's log 1 plus h over x, that's h over x. The limit is 1. So the result is 1 over x times log a. That's for general logarithm function. The last one, that is for the power function. When n is a real number, real number and not, uh, not restricted on uh, a as uh, 
for n on the natural number, not for any n, for any real number n. Of course, it should should make the function, uh, uh, should make the function and make sense. Makes the function make sense. Then the derivative is limit h tends to zero x plus h of n minus h of n over h. Okay, in this video we derive some plus basic H formula of derivatives uh, using the definition n. of we take, derivative. Take x, uh, first of we review of the derivative minus x function of n that is That's the limit. H. So h takes the complex factor x of n of outside x plus h minus f x one plus n h over, over h. x. That's o n. We use the, the H definition over H. Uh, uh, now we cannot find use some uh, geometric uh, series to basic to compute this limit because now n is not a natural is number. The constant function. The constant that function is n. We change the base is always the same value. So uh, f x plus h minus f x equals one plus over h, h over because h. of n. Minus one. Uh, f x so is constant. One plus so no, h, no matter what x uh, is the value of that is uh, of one x plus t it always. So the z. the numerator. So the numerator is zero, and the numerator non zero. Uh, I, I should, uh, approach to zero. The h because to the numerator is t is not uh, zero. We, if so we the constant the derivative of constant is zero. If we divide by log one plus t. The second one uh, function h is the x. power function of four n minus and one. This is the natural number. If we take the log of one plus t for n is t natural number, one plus t is, is uh, one plus h uh, over x plus that. n. That is oh, x plus a. h. So of the n. log minus one plus x h n. over x that's n is then just <coughs> log of one plus t. Uh, then we turn, we divide this one, we, we can take the same function, uh, the common factor x of n, and here's h. That's the substitution n, n two, then times n, uh, n x two plus limits. h over x, that is as n minus x n, then h. That's so the limit can t take the x of zero. n outside. That's t. Log because the variable is h, not x. And uh, another one use h. That is one plus x. Uh, h over uh, x in, in, uh, in front one. of the log. Uh, the uh, log over h. h. One plus uh, h using the geometric x. series. We As know that geometric series. Here log one, one plus, plus t r plus over t r square plus. Uh, R of n minus one. There is there's is the R n h over x. So over the denominator should one. change to so h R over x minus one. We divide that x R n minus we one multiply times one x. plus R plus R square plus n plus R uh, over minus one. Take these two number outside. Uh, that is x n use times n this formula over x and limit t. Then we got t over x plus t times limit the limit h tends h to, tend zero. to zero that log is h one plus h over x uh, over s r x of both these two limits uh, minus uh, one we one. consider so this as r the result as the whole thing the whole times part as x and minus one in the bracket that r equals one plus that's h the over x. basic formula so <coughs> basic formulas for some functions. R minus one, that is, uh, we H summarize over x times for the result. one plus one plus h over x. That's R the first one. one is constant. Plus one plus derivative of constant is zero. H over x squared. The power function, no matter n, uh, no matter whether the n h is over over x or not, or that n is n minus one times n. X of n minus one. Use the geometric series. Third one. 
derivative <coughs> of sine x cancel the h sine x cos so that uh, and cos then and take one over x, x outside that is x n and over uh, x the exponential, exponential function e of zero. x the derivative is one the x plus itself one plus h over and x. for other base the derivative is one plus, plus x times h the nature of a square plus one and plus for h natural x knock as n minus x. one the derivative is one over x for general log okay uh, now let's that is x uh, let the x h or protease uh, to zero. This is a one. And each, each term in the bracket tends to one. I will take so a example. Is x of minus x of n and minus one times the same terms. What is the derivative of square so root x? Is that is that means x of one half. The, the power the so power is the derivative of half power function x one half minus x one and minus one, one half x negative one half and uh, uh, what is the log third function that is x sine the derivative x. the derivative of sine x times natural log one over times x zero times log a sine x plus h minus one over x times log two over h and uh, here we what use is the uh, x addition of and that is three x trigonometric function of addition and the, of the, the formula addition. That is a sine a. Okay, that, that's the basic formula. Sine basic a formula for cosine b plus uh, basic sine formula of b. derivatives cosine a. Okay, let's stop uh, and uh, cosine a plus b. That is cosine a cosine b minus sine a sine b we use this formula okay so the long letter tends to sine x cosine h plus sine h cosine x minus sine x over x uh, take the common factor of sine x that is lambda h, h tends to zero that's sine x that's cosine h minus one plus sine h cosine x over h we uh, separate is uh, in two terms. Mm -hmm.